morning, nonprofits in Roanoke teaming up for an event they hope will help struggling families in our area. Children's Trust, Bethany Hall, and Trust House are hosting a first ever panel discussion on mental health and addiction and how those issues can be addressed without forcing children into the foster care system. WSLS 10's Rod Mance joining us live this morning outside the Grandin Theater where that discussion is taking place later today. Rod, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Patrick. Well, experts at those organizations you mentioned that I spoke with say that mental health issues and addiction affect thousands of families across southwest Virginia. But the message here, there is hope, thanks to dedicated people offering counseling services in our community every day. Uh, Teresa Carpentieri with the Children's Trust says parents often come to them having lost their children to the foster care system. Through the work she and her colleagues are doing, they find loving homes for more than 100 of those children every year. That's why she says events like the discussion tonight that spread awareness of the help that's out there are so important. It is possible to reunite families um, just because you have gone through a struggle such as addiction or whether it's losing a job and losing your home um, that there's hope there's hope that you can reunite your family you can become a stronger family well, Carpentieri says while they often deal with severe cases of child abuse or neglect, any family uh, facing a struggle with addiction or mental health can contact their organization for support. The event tonight follows the city of Roanoke officially designating this week of November annually as the week of the family. The city joins dozens of others around the country in celebrating the services like Children's Trust that help keep families together. Now that panel discussion here at the Grandin Theater will get underway tonight at 5 p.m. There will also be a screening of the movie On Life's Terms, which is a documentary about five women, uh, five mothers going through addiction. And uh, coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear from one of those pan panel members about what they hope that the audience tonight will take away from this meeting. In Roanoke, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.